Hey everyone, welcome back. Guys, in this video, I am going to show how you can easily save your email attachments inside your Google Drive automatically. And for this purpose, we have designed and created an automation for you. Let me show you how it is going to work. So this will be the flow of this automation here as and when you receive any email and if there is an attachment attached in this email, the same attachment is going to be saved here in your Google Drive automatically. So you need not to manually download the attachments and manually upload it here on Google Drive. So it will surely save a huge amount of your time and manual efforts. And to make this happen, we are going to use a feature of Pabli Connect, which is called email parcel. I'll show you how it is going to work. And guys, you can set up this automation in very few easy steps without any coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this automation very easily. So now let's set up this automation together. So guys, first of all, log in into your Pavli Connect account and reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect. And to reach here, you can use the link that we have pasted in the description for you from where you can set up your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So sign up right now and log into each year. And guys here, you need to create a workflow of automation and to do that, just click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So I'm giving the name here as Gmail to Google Drive automation, okay. Now you have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow is getting created here like this. Okay. And on this page guys, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So this automation is going to work on these things. So the trigger is the happening of that event, which is going to trigger or start this workflow. And the action would be the response towards the trigger. As in our use case, the trigger would be receiving of a new email with an attachment here in your Gmail inbox. And the action towards that trigger would be to save the attachment in Google Drive automatically. Okay. So first of all, let's set up this trigger. So guys, here in this trigger, we are going to use a feature by Pabli, which is called email parser. Okay. So search for email parser here. So guys, what email parser will do? Guys, email parser will fetch out the details or parse out the the data of the email that you're receiving on any particular email account and the same email is going to be captured on this address. You can see when I selected email parser, it has given us this email address. Okay. So whenever you receive an email with the help of this feature, the same email is going to be captured on this address and you will see the details of the emails along with the attachments here in this response. Okay. So this is the, uh, this is the functioning of female parser and how we can use this. Let me show you. So guys, you just have to copy this forwarding email address from here like this. Okay. So you can see it, it started showing waiting for email parser response. Okay. Now guys, uh, you have to open your Gmail inbox from where you want to fetch out the emails. Okay. Or the email attachments. So guys, this is my email, uh, Gmail inbox. Okay. And here, whenever I receive an email with an attachment, I want to save the attachment in my drive. Okay. So here you have to click on this settings icon, then click on see all settings. And from here, guys, you will find this forwarding and pop IMAP option. Click on this option. And here you will find this add a forwarding address button. Click on add a forwarding address and here, you have to paste the email address that you got here. Copy this email address and paste it here in this forwarding address field like this. Then click on next. And from this window, you have to select proceed. Okay. Click on proceed. And it is saying a confirmation code has been sent to this email address. Okay. So click on okay here. And here you can see in your response receive section in your workflow, we got the response here. Okay. As you clicked on proceed, we got the response here. And here guys, when you scroll down, you will find a label, which is called body text. And in the body text label here, <clears throat> when you open it, you will find a verification code attached in this, uh, 
body text. You can see this is the code, confirmation code, okay? So you have to copy this code, guys. Copy this code and paste this code here in this confirmation code field like this. Okay, then click on verify. Okay, so you can see this uh, uh, email parser side address got verified. Now uh, check this button, check this bullet. Okay, select this forward a copy of incoming mails to this. Okay, then scroll down and click on save changes. And you can see it started showing this you are forwarding your emails to this address. Okay. Now this means whenever you receive a new email here with the attachment, the data of that same email will be parsed here and you will see it here in this response. Let me show you. First of all, uh, let's click on recapture email parser response. Click on yes. And you can see it started showing waiting for the response again. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open another email account of mine. Okay. And this email account belongs to uh, Mr. Akib Khan. Okay. And this is the email address where we have attached the parser. And this email address belongs to Miss Ashirai. Okay. Now I'm going to send an email from this account to this account where we have attached the email parser. Okay. So let me compose a mail here to Miss Ashirai. Subject is new email with attachment and here let me attach a file so here I have written this email hello here is a new logo for you thanks and regards and here I have attached a file which is a PNG file you can see now I'm going to click on send and you can see the message was sent here now let's check if we got a new email and here you can see we got the new email from Akib Khan with this subject or a new email with attachment and this is the uh, this is the text and this is the file attached now guys let's check in public connect if we have received the data of this email in our response or not and here you can see uh, we have received the response like this it is showing from name uh, we have received this mail from Akib Khan this is the from person's address Okay, and here is the subject. The subject is new um, email with attachment. Okay, and here when you scroll down, you will find all the things related to this email and you will find the attachment also. Here in the body text, you can see we got the emails uh, uh, data. Okay. And in the attachment link, you can see we got the attachment which is this okay so here you can check this is the same file that I have sent which is received here in the parser response this is the same file I have attached here in this email you can see right so now we got the data of the email received here in public connect now I want to save this same attachment inside my Google Drive for that to happen you have to connect your Google Drive here in the section step so search for Google Drive here and in the action event select upload a file option then click on connect and from this window select add new connection and then click on connect with google drive and from here you have to select your uh, drives account okay then you have to provide some additional access to public connect so click on continue here and you can see we are getting connected here right now it is asking for the URL that you want to upload the file URL, the folder ID and the file name. Okay. So guys, this is my drive. You can see, and here is a folder I have created named as yours wedding. Okay. So I want to, let's say, save the attachments here only. Okay. So guys here in this URL field, I am going to map this file URL that we have, that we have uh, got here in this first step. Okay. So this is the attachments URL. So I'm going to map this here. So to map it here, you just have to click here and you will find this email parser step in the drop down on for, and from here only when you scroll down in the last, you will get this attachment link map it. And for the folder ID, you need to open your folder. And when you open your folder, you will see in this top search bar, 
uh, in the last in the address you will see this string of integers and alphabets just copy this string okay copy this and paste it here and this is the folder id guys right so for giving a name to this file that you are saving you can use the uh, data that you have received here from the email parser okay so here you can see we got the data of the person who have sent us the email we got the name of that person okay so i'm just going to uh, map this display label okay so i want to uh, save the file in uh, on the name of the person who have signed us this file okay so to map the name just click here and from this email parsers tab just map the name of the person and then you can check your connection with your google drive by clicking on save and send test request and you will see a new file getting saved here let me show you i am clicking on save and send test request and let's see what happens and here you can see we got this type of response let's check in our drive if we got a new file and here you can see a new file got saved here with this name akib khan and the file is the same file that we have received here in the attachment in our email and we got this file saved here in our google drive automatically okay so we are done setting up this automation and that is working fine let me just show you how we have done this so first of all in the trigger i used email parser feature by Pabli to parse out the emails from a particular email inbox and after that i fetched the response of a uh, demo email like this and we have received the data like this and after that in the google drive i connected in the action step i connected google drive and map the data like this of a file and when you map the data like this what will happen whenever you receive a new email this data is going to change and a new file will be saved here automatically so you need to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually after that it is going to work automatically and guys the best part is you can use the same workflow that i have created because i'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel